In this video, we are going to talk about the Xtool S1 and some new features that have recently come out. You can now get this laser with interchangeable laser modules. So we're going to dive into exactly what that means and help you figure out which version is right for you. Hey there, I'm Sarah. You're watching Creative Ramblings, and I talk about lasers on this channel all the time. Today, we are specifically going to focus on this one. This is the Xtool S1. It's one of my go-to lasers that I own. It is fully enclosed. It has a ton of options for expansion, including a riser, a rotary tool, and a conveyor. If you want to learn more about the basics of this laser, take a look at the video up above in the playlist down in the description. When I got this laser, I got the 40 watt laser module. The laser module is the working part right here. The rest of this is the enclosure, but this is the module. There's a couple of screws. You can remove a laser module and it looks a lot like this. For the S1, you can now get different modules to go into your machine which means you can buy this enclosure with one powered laser and then add on others as your projects require. Now that can be a little overwhelming, especially if you're new to lasers and you're not quite sure what to buy now and what you might want to change to down the road. So let's talk about what's available. So if you were to go to Xtool's website right now and you wanna purchase the S1, there are three different options you can choose from. Your machine's gonna look like this. They also have a white version with an orange top. Inside, you can purchase either the 40 watt laser module, 20 watt or 10 watt. The 40 watt is gonna be the most expensive. The 10 watt is gonna be the most budget friendly. And all three are gonna be able to do something a little bit different. So a quick overview of what each powered laser module can do. The 10 watt is excellent for cutting and engraving thinner pieces. You can cut basswood with a 10 watt laser. It is gonna take you a little bit longer and you may have to do a couple of passes, but it definitely cuts. The 10 watt is pretty good for engraving. You're gonna have a smaller laser point when you're doing your engraving, so you can do some pretty fine work. At 10 watts, comparably, it's going to be a little bit slower than some of the others. The 20 watt laser module is a big step up. It's double the power and speed that you get in the 10 watt. So you're gonna be able to cut through thicker materials and you're going to be able to engrave and cut faster. And the 40 watt is just gonna add on to that. You can cut up to an 18 millimeter thick piece of basswood and you can also engrave. Now, when you get up to a 40 watt, the actual beam of the laser is going to be a little bit thicker, so you might not get as fine of engraving as you do with some of the others. Now, that's kind of a technicality because I have the 40 watt, I engrave with it, and I think it does a fantastic job. Sometimes you just have to play around with your power and speed settings in the software. So let's touch on one other laser module. I actually showed you this a little bit earlier. This is a two watt, it says two watt right on here. This is an infrared laser module. This operates differently than the 10, 20 and 40 watt modules in here. This is excellent for engraving raw metals, um, aluminum that is raw where you can, you can do anodized aluminum with one of these. But if you wanna go on raw metal, this is it. This also does some really cool things when you're engraving on acrylic. This laser head is not meant for cutting anything, just doing some really fine and detailed engraving. So right now you can add this on to any of these S1 lasers that you choose to get. So if you're looking at getting your first laser or you're looking at upgrading to maybe a more versatile enclosed model, maybe you had something like the D1 or another open laser before, and now you want to go to an enclosed version, there are now a lot of options out there when it comes to the S1. So there's a couple things you want to keep in mind. No matter which laser module you buy, the 10, 20, or 40, the enclosure is exactly the same. You can add the honeycomb base that I have in here. You can put it on a riser. You can add the rotary tool. The outside is exactly the same. 
They, there are different color options, but they function the same. Then you want to think about what you're going to do with your laser. The 40 watt is going to be able to cut and engrave a ton of different things. Whereas the, you're going to have some limitations with the 10 watt. And even if you can cut and engrave certain materials, it's going to take a lot longer to do it with a 10 watt than it is with a 40. Then you want to think about price. The 10 watt S1 is an incredible price. I have the current deals down in the description. If you are looking to get into an enclosed laser and you're on a budget, which aren't we all, the 10 watt is a great place to start because it allows you down the road to upgrade to a larger laser module when you're ready. The 10 watt is also going to give you a chance to play around with the laser and understand what projects you wanna make for yourself, for gifts, or for your small business. Once you really know what you wanna create, then you can decide, do I need to get that IR module? Do I need to go up to a 40 watt? If you are ready to invest in a laser, if you are thinking, I've got a couple thousand dollars to spend, I'm ready to go, I want an excellent diode laser, go with the 40 watt right off the bat. You will not be disappointed. This laser can do everything that a diode laser should be able to do. You can also find some excellent deals on the 40 watt. Again, be sure to check down in the description. There are always deals going on and I will have them updated down below. So we're gonna add one extra caveat here. X-Tool does make another 10 watt laser. It is the X-Tool M1. That was actually my first enclosed laser and I love it. I still use it even though I have this one. The M1 has both a laser and a blade so you can do a couple different things and it has a camera where the S1 has a pinpoint positioning system. I really like my M1. However, it does not have the capability to upgrade to a stronger laser down the road. You can use a rotary tool with it, you can put it on a riser, but you can't make it more powerful. So as much as I love my M1, if you are ready to dive into a laser and you're looking at that 10 watt range, just opt for the S1 in a 10 watt, and then you have the option to upgrade down the road. So I hope this was a good overview and it helped you understand the different laser modules that you can get with the S1, how they might work for you. If you have any other questions, check out my X-Tool playlist. I have a ton of detailed videos in there that are going to help you make an informed buying decision and help you create some really cool projects. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm here every week with brand new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.